Yo, what is up guys? In this video, we're going to be teaching you how to make a website in 2019 and more importantly, how to actually monetize that knowledge so that you can start making money today building out websites for other people. This is going to be a good one. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna have my good friend Greg Morrison go over some tips and tricks on how to actually make a website literally within 10 minutes. Um, and this guy has built multi million dollar businesses and trained thousands and thousands of people around the world how to actually make money from building websites, doing SEO for people. This is gonna be a really good tutorial, guys. So let's jump into Greg's computer. He's gonna teach you how to make a website in just 10 minutes. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go to godaddy.com slash websites slash free dash domain. This is a deal where you can get a free domain with your hosting, which is our first two steps, domain and hosting. Domain is the name of your website. Hosting is where you keep all the files for your website. So let's go ahead and scroll down. We're going to click learn more under build an advanced website, but it's not advanced. Once we get to this screen, we want to scroll down and you can click the basic plan. This will work for just about anyone watching this video. Very few people need deluxe or ultimate. Now from here to get your free website, you may have to stay on 12 months. If you don't care about the free website, just click one month. Just to get the free website, I'll click on 12 months. Now click on continue. Good news, we get a free domain. So let's go ahead and type in a domain that we want. I already know what I want. Create a website with me.com. Let's see if it's available. And it is available. And as you see, it's free. Select and continue. Now it's been added and you see it's for free. Now what we must do is fill out our billing information. I already have mine in. You can pay through PayPal, a credit card, or a checking account. So let's go ahead and complete purchase. Now we're going to go to step three, which is where we're going to install WordPress. WordPress makes it very easy to create a beautiful website like I was talking about earlier. So let's go ahead and click on add site. Now we're going to click on the basic and next. We're going to build a new site and enter in our WordPress name. From here, WordPress will start installing. This may take a few minutes. Once that finishes loading, you'll see this screen here. Go to add custom domain. Now we're going to click on use a purchase domain. We're going to select one of the websites in our account and make primary domain. Now our change is pending. Alright, now once it's done loading, which may take a few minutes, you'll see this screen. Now you can go click on WP Admin. This will log you into your WordPress admin area. From here, you want to click no thanks and OK. Now we're logged into our WordPress website. Let's go take a look at what it looks like. As you can see, our website isn't so pretty yet. Now anytime you want to access your admin area in your WordPress, you click in your website name slash wp-admin. Then you hit in your login information and it will take you to the screen. So now step four is to start making our website a little more pretty. Let's go to appearance and click on themes. Now let's click on add new theme. We're gonna search for a theme called Astra. Click on this and click install. Once it's installed, click on activate. Now we have Astra installed. We go back to our website, we'll see that it's changed in look, but it's still not pretty. Next, we're gonna install a plugin. Go to plugins and click add new. Search your plugins for Astra starter sites, click install now and then click activate. Once we install the plugin, we want to click on C library and then you want to click on Elementor. From here, you're going to see all the designs that are available. Note that any that says agency will have to be paid for. Any that doesn't is free. So we're going to pick a free one. Let's choose this one right here and let's preview it. This is what our website will look like if we want this one. So I'm going to click install plugins. Once those are done installing, click on import this site. And when we go over and reload our site, we have a beautiful looking website. The next step is to start changing the content. To start changing the content, you can click the X button and you can go back to your dashboard. From here, you see under next steps, click on edit your front page and then click on edit with Elementor. Once you get in, you can basically point and click drag and drop. So if you want to change something, 
you click on it, you highlight it, and you change the text. Same thing for right here. Change to whatever you want. Now that we're back at our dashboard, under Next Steps, click Edit Your Front Page. Edit with Elementor. Now we're in our website where we can basically point, click, drag, and drop. You can change this to whatever you want. You can also click on what button say and change that by clicking the button and then changing it over here. You can also edit what the button say by clicking this blue button, edit, and changing the text over here. And that will change what the button says. You can do this for all the text on this page. You can also click over here and change out the images if you'd like to. You can add sections, drag, and drop. So that's how you edit your pages. Now I have to show you how to edit the header and the footer. Let's exit to dashboard. I won't save changes for now. Now to edit the header and footer, we're going to go to Appearance, Themes, and we're going to click on Customize. Now you'll see that your header and your footer is editable. You can click here to edit. You can change the pictures. You can change the menus by clicking over here, edit, and change anything you need. If we scroll down, it's now the same with the footer. You click on the Edit button, and you edit whatever you need to edit on this left-hand panel. And that's how you edit the header and the footer. So we learned how to edit our front page. You would come to the dashboard, next steps, edit your front page, and it's basically point and click. We learned how to edit the footer and the header. You go to appearance, themes, and then click on customize. But now you also may want to add a new page. To do so, go to pages and add new page. So now we're going to enter a title for our page. Let's call it website building services. And then you click on Edit with Elementor, and it's going to take you to a blank section. Now once here, you have two options. You can manually build your page by dragging and dropping, or you can choose a template. If you want to manually build your page, you just simply click this and you drag it over. From here, you have two options. You can either manually build out your page by dragging and dropping things over, or you can select a template. Let's select a template. When you click on templates, there's a lot of things for you to choose from. So you can scroll down and find whatever you think looks good. Once you find what you like, click on it. If you don't like it, you can go back out and choose another. If they say pro, it means that they're paid. So I'm going to just choose a free one. I like how this one looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert. Now that we see our page is inserted, and like before, we can simply click, change images, we can click, and change text throughout the whole page. And now we have a beautiful looking website. And of course, if you want your changes to stick, you click on publish. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope you comment below. Once you start building your websites, I want you to show me how good they look. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial from Greg on how to make a website in 2019. Um, one of the most important things about making a website, though, is being able to monetize it, right? And Greg has had thousands of students from around the world make tens of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, I mean, all together, making websites and doing SEO for those websites and for clients. We have a completely free training for you guys if you want to check it out on how you can start to make, you know, five, ten or even more than $10,000 every single month doing these types of things. If you guys want to check it out, it's right here, first link in the description. So make sure you click here, register for our free training, and then you can start to be on your way to be making $10,000 a month or more. Greg, thanks so much, man. Absolutely.